Hey everybody, Jim Cummings here. Now, you may not know me, but I know you know Jedi Xander. Everybody knows Jedi Xander, and he knows Ondo Onaka. Well, well, well. Here we are together again for the very first time. <laughs> Do you see what I said there? Now listen, I want you to remember one thing. No matter where you go, there you are. And please, stay profitable. Otherwise, what's the point? Thank you so much. Hey, very good morning, folks. We are at LA Comic Con 2022. We are back from last year. Last year was crazy, and I can already tell this year is going to be crazier. They're not requiring masks or vaccination. I think they were requiring masks last year. I can't recall. I wore it last year. I'm going to wear mine anyway this year because of how packed it is actually going to be inside. As you can see, it's like 7.30 and there's already this massive crowd. I'm going to be hanging out in the autograph area for the most of the day because I have a lot of autographs for myself and other people that they sent me. But I'll be back tomorrow again in case I can't roam around the convention hall as much. But let's hope for a great weekend. I know it's going to be crazy. Crazy, but I'm sure it'll be fun. I can't lie, you know, I'm always going to be honest with you guys. LA Comic Con has always been a hit or miss year after year. This year in particular, they seem to be responding and helping with customer support a lot less. There's an issue, not really an issue, but I originally wasn't going to come Saturday because I only bought Saturday badges and they just approved my media credentials maybe a week ago. So luckily I was able to sell my badge because I bought it during the early bird sale, got it cheaper anyway. I've been trying to find out, can we move our autograph ticket from Saturday to Sunday if the guest is still here and not sold out. I sent one email to LA Comic Con. They responded saying contact show clicks. I responded to show clicks, haven't heard back from them and I've been asking LA Comic Con all the time. I'm hoping maybe that I'm here, they can just tell me yeah, if you don't use it today, come back tomorrow, but we'll see how that goes. I didn't want to load up on my one day if I can come back tomorrow again. Let's just see how much we can actually get done today. Another thing about LA Comic Con, I went to pick up my press badge and nobody from press like staff was there. They had like the exhibitors and ADA and all the other badge pickup people and press wasn't there and they're like, well, we'll take down your name and info and we'll give you a press badge. That's not very organized, sort of uh, professional, I guess. So yeah, they just kind of seem to be all over the place again. Can she do an add-on? No, if you wanted anything additional, then you have to Took a quick break to come out of the convention center so I can drop off a few things at my car. Uh, Charlie Hunam, Charlie Hunam, however you say his last name, uh, he took so long. I was first in Ming Na Wen's line and she didn't come till 10.30. Charlie was there at 10. I figured let me hop over and hopefully he'll get done quick. The problem is Charlie has no commitments. He's not doing panels. He's not got it. He doesn't have to go anywhere. So he was taking his time, which is a great thing. He loved my Pacific Rim poster. On the downside, it took two hours for me to get his signature and everyone went on lunch break. Now I just gotta wait till around 1 2 o'clock before everyone comes back for their signing. So at least I had a chance to drop off some things, head back in and see how it goes. Hello. Would you mind if I step my box down so I can grab my phone? Thank you. Just one autograph. I have a QR code for you. I'm involved in the thing that this? Yeah, I'll just take it out of a little sleeve. It feels so good and it feels really special. Blue? Thank you. Yes, blue, please. Definitely has a blue. Perfect, thank you so much. Hello, Miss Whedon. Good, how are you today? Perfect. Oh, I'm sorry, I just didn't want to bring it. Thank you. Perfect, thank you so much. Appreciate it. Thank you, thank you, you too. This has got to be the most unorganized show after 10 years of doing this and they still can't get it right. Come on, LA Comic Con. <laughs> Hello. Hi, how are you? Good, how are you? Good. Just getting one item signed. One item signed, okay. Thank you. Do you want it personalized or just her autograph? Just her autograph. Hi. Hi, Miss Wen. Hi, how are you doing? Good, how are you? So I have that. Before I have you sign that, can I show you something to take you down memory lane? Okay. Put that aside. I remember. <laughs> That's amazing. Wow. Yeah. 
So I won this in an auction a couple months ago, wow. and I'm hoping you really signed it because they said you did. So yeah, <laughs> yeah okay. Perfect. I mean, if you want, I could add when to it because I know it used to just sign it. Maybe. Oh really? Oh, I didn't pay for it. I mean, if it's not, right. yeah? okay, yeah. if you don't mind, yeah, no, no, I'll uh, yeah, we can okay. handle that. Absolutely, first? yeah. This is a friend of mine. He sent this to me okay. to have you sign. So um, silver. Yeah. All right. If you think there's a better spot, then yeah. I know, I'm trying to find a better spot because I think place. this would be like, yeah. There we go. Oh, I think this will show up. Perfect, thank you so much. I know he'll love it regardless. So cool. so, I was hooked on ER when I was five years old and uh -huh. um, it's just... I think I, I used to, I think I might have... I think would you I like me to put this under to sign better? Yeah. yeah. Okay. I think I might have one of these. From uh, back in the day. There. Perfect. Now, can I ask? I've always been curious. I know when you first started the show, your character was Deb Chen, and it changed to Jing Mei. Jing Mei. Yeah. Why did that happen? I'm because they wanted to make it like a surprise for Noah's character. Oh, okay. And at first they were going to have her like call her Charlotte or something. Oh, okay. I'm like, well, that makes no sense. Yeah. Why would she change her name? Yeah. Unless she changed it to her Chinese name. Right. And so they were like, oh, that's a good okay. idea. Okay, because I know so he was then, surprised, didn't know who yeah, Jin Mei Chen exactly. was. Yeah, so, so then I made, uh, made them because, as an Easter egg because okay. Jing Mei is actually my character's Chinese name in June, uh, in um, Enjoy Luck Club. Oh, I, I didn't even so make that, that connection. My, that oh, no wonder. Okay, Easter wow, egg. it's fantastic. Yeah. I know I, I loved it when you started being called Jing Mei, and I'm like, huh, yeah. I wonder what brought that change. Because yeah. I met Eric Lasall at uh, San Diego Comic Con, and I asked him, you know, as an actor of color during that time, or what's the public's reaction? And it was such a diverse cast that, you know, I'm curious, you know, back then there was no internet, so how are people reacting to yeah. all these actors on this show? So, yeah. but thank you so much for shedding light on that. Yeah. So, it's great to meet you <laughs> again. Nice to thank meet you. you too. Thank you. you wanna wait? How you doing? Hey, good. How are you, Mr. Grimes? Good to meet Appreciate you. it. What's your oh, name? Alex. Alex, a pleasure, pal. Of pleasure. course, thank you. Um, I have a QR code and I'm gonna buy another okay. autograph and photo. Oh, wow. um, you got that's cool. So, I'll that. give you. That for the Who signed the scrubs? Yeah. <laughs> you got Laura. Oh, look at that. That's a beautiful wow. thing, man. So the original one had Anthony Green, Ming Na Wen, yeah. uh, Eric LaSalle, um, Goran Visnich, yeah. uh, a few There's other people. Laura, yeah. yeah. No George Clooney, unfortunately, but. <laughs> So. Wow, Tom Arnold even signed that. Yeah, I saw him a couple weeks ago. Yeah, I saw him a couple weeks ago at the Hollywood show. So that is so yeah. cool, man. <laughs> May I sign it? Oh, that's uh, this yeah. is why I'm here. And Thank actually, you. a friend of mine sent the other item for you. Gosh, Wherever you'd like to sign, yeah. I know I have this little wood or cardboard to yeah, make it sure. Um, sure. sturdier. Yeah, it makes it easier. I appreciate yeah. that. Um, and I'll yeah, wherever right you like, here. perfect. Uh, black. Where's the black marker? I'm an idiot. What the hell was that? <laughs> that's Greg Grunberg. Oh, that's Fantastic. a pleasure, man. Fantastic. Thank you so that much. You know, the right show there. came out, I don't even think I was born yet, because it started in 94, I think. Yeah. Born in 94. What year were you born? 94. <laughs> okay. So, <laughs> and we went to 2009, right? Yeah, yeah, for a long time. And I was just, from five years old, I don't know what it was, I was just hooked on this show. And I've been trying to find, like, a poster or something to get everyone to sign it, yeah. and then I just happened to stumble across this. The and cast is going to love signing that, because that's what we wore every so single far. day. Yeah, that's exactly. Cool. So, <laughs> I love that. Thank you so much for No worries. Can we have a picture as well? Perfect. Look at how good, gorgeous we are. Thank you so much. I missed, well, you weren't on the reunion they did last year or two years ago for ER? They did a thing on COVID, right? Right, like on yeah. Like on the thing. No, they did the regular, the main cast. Okay. They deserved it, Yeah, right? from like the OGs, but God bless I mean, you. hey, we had you and yeah. I mean, it's amazing. A lot of people don't realize how many actors from Marvel, Star Wars, just everything. Orville, Star Trek, people, they were on that show. I mean, it's crazy. That, yeah. Yeah. I miss it. That's a great yeah. group of people. Tell you. Even if it's just one episode, I'm adding their name to, yeah. to the Scrubs and, you know, part oh, of that's history. Cool. So. That's cool, man. You got course. the front end yeah, back. Yeah, for it. sure. Great. Thank you so much. Yeah, again. I really appreciate you, it. Nice to meet you, too. Thank you. Enjoy yourself. Thank, Thank you. Safe. You, too. Sign. I'll do. I think this is the right way up. Yeah. 
Uh, silver, please. Yeah. Sorry to fold it kind of backwards. So, so yellow is going to look really good on this. Okay. We're going to do silver. Okay. Yes. Oh, can I ask, are you able to sign your Chinese name? No. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. No, we can't do it. Oh, no. We really can't do it. That's a friend of mine, so he wanted me to ask yeah, no, you. No, no, well, I'm okay. sorry. We just can't no, no, it's okay. Yeah. Do I ask him? He doesn't, he's not supposed to. I'm not oh, really? Yeah, you're I'm not like, supposed you're not to do it. Oh, so, uh, I didn't know that. Yeah. That's why I didn't do it. Tell your friend it. he's special. Gotcha. I got this one for you. I don't think you realize that I did it. I know. <laughs> okay, that's fine. <laughs> I, I, I have no right. idea. Thank you so much. You need yellow on this one? Okay, yeah. got it. Okay. Uh, we were really convincing. I know. I, <laughs> You know, I hope I'm not the first one to mention this. My family is so heartbroken about Kim's convenience. Oh. About what happened. We have, we followed that show from the get-go. Thank you. I mean. We, I mean, I, the thing I loved about the show is that the people who watched it were mm -hmm. just, yeah, they were just families like, like yours and mine and something really special about yeah. that. And you know, we're Armenian, so it's so nice. crazy how, much, how many similarities there's there are similarities, between like, right? I mean, Asian, that's, that's Chinese, I Middle Eastern, here. just everything. So yeah, yeah. hopefully there's, there'll be something in the future. But I hope so. I'm glad we still have you well, around. You know, so. all these shows do <laughs> Thank like you. reunions yeah. and things now. And I'm feeling like there's probably going to be one yeah. at some point. Well, thank you so much. Yeah, yeah. Appreciate Cheers, it. Thank man. you. Take care. Thank you so much. Holy shit, what a day. <laughs> I mean, I gotta say, uh, Simu wasn't too bad of a line. Giancarlo, Ming-Na Wen, Elijah Wood. They were all super quick, even though it was a, lot, a while, maybe 30 to 45 minutes each line. But I'm sorry to say Charlie Hunnam, he took the longest and he definitely pushed everything back. And in the photo op for Ming-Na Wen too, the organization was pretty bad, but that took forever. It was at least half an hour late. And then Simu did show up another half hour late. So I missed every panel I wanted to go to. I just barely caught Katie Lay now to sign a couple posters of mine too. Tomorrow will be a lighter day on, on the bright side. I missed a ton of people that I'm a little bummed about, but hopefully they'll do more cons in the future. First time stepping into the exhibit hall, exhibit floor today at six o'clock in the evening. Whew, and I'm still not done. I still gotta find an artist and then a booth doing a giveaway for a Predator Fero mask from the new Prey movie. Alright, definitely, uh, we'll get some food. Hey, don't forget to sign up for this. I'm hoping. Good luck. Tomorrow at 3 p.m. Yeah, One of the coolest things I got to design was a chain sword. Oh, no way! Yeah. <laughs> that has to be probably one of my favorite moments in the movie. Yeah, Fantastic, man. thank you. So I was gonna stay for one more panel when I went to go see John Jiang and have him sign my Pacific Rim poster. And unfortunately ripped. I, my hand just slipped when I was pulling it out of my poster tube. I'm, I, I'm gonna get it fixed anyway. It wasn't in the best condition. Typically, if you're not uh, familiar with like posters or autograph collecting, there's a method called uh, linen backing that if you have like waves or creases or whatever, this will help kind of strengthen it and get all those imperfections out. And it'll add like a little border so it gives it a nicer appearance. This can be fixed. It'll just be an added cost. So on one hand, I mean, if you look at all my posters I have, 
they all have creases and cracks and slight tears and nicks and dents and all that but you know this is just again an added cost that i could have avoided i wasn't even rushing my hand just slipped when i was taking it out i'm, I'm just not in the mood to wait for the last <laughs> the last panel which is still another half hour away i'm gonna head home got one more day tomorrow and we'll be back sunday good morning folks we are heading back to los angeles comic con today day two but had to stop by ah, one of my favorite bagel places this is mari's in silver lake their white fish salad is insane. I never had white fish until I came to Mari's. Now I'm hooked now. I mean, I used to be a huge lox fan. I still am a huge lox fan, but the white fish is definitely the way to go. Freshest bagels taste so good too. They actually have flavor. I haven't been to New York for years, but this is a New York bagel. And the white fish tastes so good. They've got cream cheese, the slightly pickled cucumber, and onion. Mmm. Just look at the bottom. This is a breakfast. As you can tell, even though it's still early, it is nowhere near as packed as yesterday. And I, I guess it really was just for all the guests that were here, Ming-Na Wen, Giancarlo, Charlie, uh, Simu Liu. Um, yeah, I mean, it's, <laughs> it's a hell of a lot less packed today. So it's really crazy to see how much of a difference today is from yesterday. Those two will be in black. I'll give you these. Anywhere? Uh, I guess up right here. Right. Uh, yeah. Thank you. And then these three will be in silver. Thank you. And there's that. Perfect. Thank you so much for the three. Every comic book? No, no worries. Do I owe you anything for this? No. Thank you so much. It's a free. Appreciate it. Hello, Mr. Capone. Good. good, how are you doing? Good, good. Thank yeah. you so much. So I got a lot in my hands right now. Right. Uh, a friend of mine actually sent me a poster for you to sign, so um, I do have a QR code. Let me thick um, print. Oh, oh, wow. Who made it? Uh, you know what? I'm not sure the artist or the. Um, I don't know if there's a name or. It might be like from Bottleneck or one of the galleries. So cool. So. Nice. Should I go here? Uh, yeah, he's asking name and then your character name. Yeah. Sure. I think we should definitely Oh, perfect. Thank you, Lana. Thanks for selfie. Thank you so much. Perfect. Excellent. Thank you so much, Mr. Capone. I really appreciate it. Super cool. Super cool. Yeah, I think it's dried up with the print, so. Yeah. Uh, I think it's good. Yeah. Yeah, because the material is. Yeah, good. the material is usually yeah, pretty we're good. good so. Nice. All righty. Super cool. Perfect. I appreciate it so good much. Friend, Thank you. Man. I was curious. According to IMDb, you did a voice stand-in for Tantor and Tarzan. Is that accurate? No, I was Tantor. Oh, you were Tantor. Yeah, oh, well, even better actually, because I have a poster. <laughs> that's, that's what their IMDb page uh, says, so I just wanted to, because IMDb's no, I mean, been he, less than accurate lately. I forget, Wayne Knight did it in the movie, and then I yeah. did all the other ones. Oh, okay. So I did the whole series. Oh, but the movie, though. No, the movie was uh, Wayne Knight. Oh, okay, so you didn't do, okay. So I just have a poster from the movie, so I <laughs> yeah. just want to make sure before yeah. I add the wrong person, but okay, yeah. I just wanted to confirm that, was, so. Was, uh, was a couple of the I sang a song in, a, in the movie. In Tarzan. Oh, in the movie too. Yeah. Oh, okay. I'll add you anyway oh, yeah, then. I was in the movie. Oh, perfect. Okay, I just wanted to make sure. I've been running into yeah, a lot of uh, inconsistencies in the movie lately. So on IMDb. So 
Yeah, IMDb is not the best source. I know, yeah. <laughs> well, and a lot of times, whoever it is may not even realize that it's, oh, thank you, um, wrong or whatever it may be. So yeah. I just like to ask before adding the wrong person. So wherever oh, you would like. Yeah, yeah it's one of my favorites, so. <clears throat> Dealer's choice, wherever you'd like to sign, you yeah, are yeah. more than welcome. And if you like to add, like, character name or anything like that, yeah. you're more than welcome. She's here. Who? Margaret. Oh, okay. I'm still hoping to catch uh, Tony Goldwyn one day, so. And Minnie. There you go. I'll have to put a... Put a note there to let you know I was... <laughs> oh, perfect. Ta-da! Fantastic. Thank All you so right, much again pleasure. for coming. Appreciate right, it. That's a good I'd, poster. Oh, man. yeah. I'm, Slowly but surely, that. you know, I, I was fortunate enough there was an animation expo a few months ago, so I was able uh -huh. to add some of the artists too. Yeah. Nice. Perfect. Thank you so Very much. Cool, I appreciate brother. it. Great, great yeah, seeing you again. Good stuff. Make sure that dries. Yeah, I haven't I've, I've seen that before, but not many of them. Yeah. That's a, that's a good one. Thank you. you gotta, appreciate it. Yeah, I'm, you know, right when I'm a fan, I make sure to appreciate everyone go. and anyone who's been part of it. Yeah, so, yeah. <laughs> thank you so much. My pleasure. Well, that wraps up LA Comic Con 2022. Um, I, I don't know. This is a show that every year I say I'm not going to come back to, and I still do. Part of it is they typically have such a great lineup of guests, and the biggest issue is their disorganization, nonsensical organization ideas. And sometimes there are things that are out of the con's control. Like I was waiting for LeVar Burton earlier. He was supposed to be signing from 10 to 11, 30 then a photo op 11 40 to 12 got in line at 11 he wasn't around came back at 12 15 he still wasn't around I'm like all right where is he at i went to con staff and show click staff or epic photos whoever was running it to see if he is if he was delayed from his photo ops or what nobody knew where he was finally it wasn't until like 1 1 30 or something he showed up and finally got that done but then on the other hand i was trying to get tomer capone and it seemed like every time I would look over there, he was gone. Like, he wasn't at his table. Finally caught him. Was trying to catch Rob Paulson, who he's done a ton of voice work. Katie Lay thought that he did some voice work for Back to the Future and Ferris Bueller. Turns out he didn't. But while I was waiting in line, he was also like half an hour late coming from wherever he was coming from. Some other exhibitor or attendee or something brought over like a cosplayer and then that pulled him away for 20 minutes too. And it's like, we've been waiting all this time. Like, can you get to us first or kind of go back and forth? A lot of the panel rooms weren't right. They weren't updating panel room changes, cancellations, any type of change to the schedule or location. So I will, I, I comfort the guests. And a lot of times if I see or meet fellow attendees who are friends, this time around, actually like 90% of the autographs I got are consignments. So I'll show that off at the end of the video. As you saw, you know, and everyone's experience is different. Don't get me wrong. Like I will make the most of what I can. And sometimes it's better, sometimes it's worse. Unfortunately, LA Comic Con is always on the more negative side of things. And I just think they need a bigger place, but LA Comic Con, where else are they gonna do it? Unless they rent out like a massive warehouse, which probably won't have parking or traffic will be worse. So it's a combination of different factors that go into it. But end rant, anyway, hope you all enjoyed the video. Uh, stay tuned for my haul, my autograph haul. Thank you for watching, like and subscribe to my channel, and we'll see you next time. So here is one item signed by Jim Cummings. This is my Black Series Stormtrooper helmet. As you see, I have a ton of different names on it. They are all Stormtrooper related, so I'm keeping with that theme. A consignment I got for LeVar Burton was this gnome character, I guess from Star Trek. I'm not too familiar with it. One friend of mine is a big Star Wars card collector, including these posters. So he actually sent me a few more items than what I'm showing, but this is a, uh, a way to give you a sense of what he did bring. As you see, he's a big collector and he definitely trusts me and I'm glad that I can trust him as well and happy to help him out along with these cards. Most of these were Joe Benitez and Tom Hodges. There was a couple of artists who did not show up. Another image for LeVar Burton, actually two images. These were two separate people as well. Giancarlo Esposito signed these two Funko Pops in different colors. He was so well organized. He had just about every paint pen and type and color you can think of. Then Will Wheaton with that Big Bang Theory card. Elijah Wood signed my Sting Sword by United Cutlery. Ming Na Wen on this Book of Boba Fett print. This thing is a gorgeous print. I'm so happy with that with how that turned out. 
uh, Shang-Chi, Simu Liu, he signed these two posters with his Chinese name, so I was really grateful for that. Sadly, neither one of these are mine, but I'm glad my uh, clients are happy with them. My personal Tarzan poster, I added Debbie Derryberry and Jim Cummings as well, as we saw. Um, I don't think I got Debbie, I might have gotten her just on film, but anyway. Ferris Bueller, I added Katie Lay along with Back to the Future. She was one of the ADR kind of background voice actors. And unbeknownst to me, Billy Zane was in attendance. I'm so lucky I happened to have my poster with me and added him on the spot. Uh, this was the Tomer Capone signing for the boys print. And once again, LeVar Burton for this uh, Star Trek art piece.